Howdy, everyone. It's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. So today, folks, I'm going to be reviewing one little dog's history. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, so... Yeah, I figured I would do this because of that. And this character is from a TV series, an animated series. And I figured I would do this because... The series have gained some popularity. So yeah, like I mentioned before, a moment ago, before folks, this character is from the Steer series, which is supposed to be this American computer animated adventure TV series that was pre that premiered on the Disney Channel on July twenty second, two thousand sixteen, and moved to Disney Junior on July fourteenth, two thousand eighteen, and. Yeah, this series is supposed to be featuring a Hispanic princess, and this, and that's pretty good, I guess you can say. So, anyway, I can say I did like the overall dress and the overall design of the character. It's pretty faithful to the search material, Um, I guess maybe the, that's the way it's supposed to be, of course. I did like the colors. Of course, you know, the colors are supposed to be very important in... To, Reflecting to its own culture and as supposed to be, of course. I know it comes to some cultures, colors can be very important, and that's definitely, definitely true to the Mexican culture, of course. And and I thought that was pretty cool in its own little way. There's a lot of detail being in the, you know, in the character's design and whatnot. So this is supposed to be the main character, I guess you'd say. And this show only lasted for like what? Two seasons so far, from what I know, and I did like the look of it. Of course, I thought the look was very nice, obviously. And I can say that this is definitely worth keep. Of course, yes, sir. So I guess that's the thing, folks. I know some dolls of this series of characters can be really well done, and that's the case here. I like the design here, and. Yeah, the overall face and whatnot, it's fairly faithful to what they were trying to do. I mean, some other dogs had done it better than this, I guess you'd say. So, I guess the face needs some work in some ways, because it needs to be tweaked a bit, a bit more. But overall, the overall design is pretty accurate to what they were trying to do. So, I can't really complain too much at all, really. So, I'll say that this is definitely one of those toys I'd say is worth it, I guess. And, so I did like how they were doing with this, because I like the details, I like the dress, the overall, what they were trying to do here, of course. So, I do appreciate they're actually trying to put some effort into this, which I think is a, is a good thing. So, I know this character is from a Sonic culture and whatnot, uh, of course. So, I would say that, nothing wrong with trying to have some diversity, I guess. It's not, it, it's not that he's trying to be forceful about it or anything, of course. The character does have her own story, obviously. And I like the background box they have in, in there, folks. And the little details they have in the box, of course. That's definitely a plus. I really didn't mind that at all, really. And uh, there's some colors here. I do recommend it. I guess it goes collected, just so you have something in your collection, maybe. So, yeah, I have a doll. I have this radio folks in my collection, and I'm not ashamed to admit it, of course. So, yeah, folks, this is a, this is a good one. It would get an, an overall rating of a 7.0 out of 10. It gets a 7.0 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, oh yeah.